Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 22nd, 2020, the Wednesday edition of the morning market prep video. Let's take a look at what we have going on here in the market. Yesterday we had a little bit of a, well, a little bit of a nervous market, I guess. We saw um, a bit of a reaction in the market once we heard that the um, coronavirus had um, migrated to the U.S. Um, out in Washington state and um, the CDC has put in place, you know, um, uh, in the travel, uh, travel, um, tests, inspections when folks return from countries that are, um, displaying that virus to try and stop its, um, you know, uh, spread around the world. But we had a little bit of nervousness on that. And the reason we have the nervousness is, is there could be travel restrictions. And of course, uh, folks could also just say, hey, look, I am not going to travel with this going on and can have a negative effect on the market. So that pushed us down just a little bit yesterday in the Dow. And then also we had a pretty substantial um, sell-off in Boeing yesterday, really um, pushing down um, this stock and breaking really a key level of support yesterday when it was learned that uh, Boeing believes that um, it will be uh, longer still before they're able to get the 737 back in the air. So some pretty damaging price action here in the chart, and that um, obviously m helped to move the Dow lower yesterday. So in looking at the diamonds here, as you can see, our trend is still in place. As a matter of fact, that pullback, 150 point pullback in the Dow, really did no damage here to the chart whatsoever. You can see we held price supports in the chart, nothing was particularly damaged overall now if you look at a 15 minute chart 15 minute chart is going to show you that we started to do a little breaking down here making some lower highs but then overnight we just have we just have a relentless bull right now they refuse it doesn't matter what happens out there they just want to power through to the upside um i it's it's been a long time as a matter of fact i would i would go back to probably the tech bubble in 1999 where i saw a market quite like this where it really doesn't matter what the price stocks are we have a ravenous appetite to buy them no matter how high they go no matter how high they are beyond their price to earnings ratio we're going to buy them and that's what's going on this morning immediately after the market closed yesterday the bulls came roaring back in the futures market pushing um, indexes higher we had netflix that reported earnings last night and Netflix um, originally disappointed we were looking lower because of su subscriber accounts and things like that but even that you know, even though they uh, the markets were somewhat disappointed in those subscriber accounts they have somehow pushed this back up into bullish territory just a modest gap up this morning here on Netflix once again just displaying it really doesn't matter what happens out there market wants to go up and then IBM um, reported for the first time in five quarters a good earnings report gapping the stock substantially higher that's certainly helping the market it looks like their purchase of Red Hat has helped significantly in putting them on the positive side of earnings here um, so five quarters um, they have been down and now we're pushing some price resistance in the chart so pretty um, pretty amazing move there in that stock so that's um, inspired the bulls over the night did inspire the bulls overnight and right now Dow futures are pointing to more than a hundred point gap up in uh, the Dow trying to recover a bit of yesterday's selling so you can see we're gapping back up in here and I think it's entirely possible we could see those bulls just continue to reach out for new highs there just doesn't seem to be anything 
that um, puts a concern into the Dow. It doesn't matter how high stocks go, they have no concern. They're just buying with both hands. So one of the things I want to caution everyone is, first, we want to continue to trade with the direction of the trend, but we want to always have in the back of our mind um, a plan to um, um, prepared to exit trades very quickly if the market sentiment shifts. Remember, when you're pricing stocks beyond perfection, it's only going to take a little stumble. One stumble from a key stock and we could have a quick reversal of sentiment and a sell-off. So watch that carefully here as this market continues to extend out. And one of the things you don't want to do is over trade a market like this, putting yourself at high risk of that reversal day when um, those kind of things can occur. So let's keep a close eye on this, but right now bulls are definitely in control. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY, bulls, definitely in control here. We had a little tiny pullback here in the SPY, but you can see the bulls held on to that, really trying to force that back up. And now this morning, we could be looking at a record breakout here, almost at the open, um, as those bulls come rushing back in um, no concern about current pricing um, of the market so keep an eye on that but we're pushing for more highs stretching this um, um, rally to the upside we also want to be really careful when we get this kind of big gap up open at or near market highs for that possibility that we gap up and find only sellers up there so if we were to gap up here and then do something like that what I call a pop and drop we'll want to watch that pretty carefully so make sure you don't chase in in the morning get caught up in the morning hype don't chase in let's wait for a few minutes let's make sure that actual buyers are following through and this isn't an engineered pop and drop to trap folks in the market so you always want to be watchful of that but i'm not suspecting that at all i'm not trying to predict that at all i'm just suggesting just have a little bit of caution Put that motion emotion aside you're not missing out and as a matter of fact i'd say you've already missed out so don't chase in this market let's take a look at the cues 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 very very strong um extremely extended here you know if we move here's a, a bigger trend but you can see we have steepened this trend dramatically we continue to push away from our moving averages we're getting farther and farther away from our moving averages and really extending this move to an extreme level so watch that pretty closely as we come roaring back this morning as you can see nasdaq looking for a new record highs at the open um just knocking the cover off the ball here the bulls are um, looking at a big gap up here in the nasdaq let's take a look at iwm now iwm had kind of a struggle yesterday pulling back it just really didn't wasn't happy all day long while the rest of the market was pushing up but you can see we're still holding on the trend and we're still holding on to support in this chart and the IWM futures, Russell futures, are looking for a modest gap up this morning but we still have to worry about that resistance level in the chart so watch that carefully and closely IWM could be one of those um, it, it often serves as one of those leading indicators um, when there's trouble in the market um, it can lead us up it can lead us down so let's watch that carefully and closely let's take a look at the VIX the VIX yesterday had a little bit of fear starting to perk up and if you look at a shorter term chart like the 15 minute you can even see that we started a, a, a bit of an uptrend in fear um, in the market but that didn't hold really throughout the day and you can see they pushed it back down right here at the end of the day and with the bulls really rushing in this morning i would expect this to move right back down here um as as that fear drops away there just uh, again seems to be no limit to what the bulls will pay for 
um, on these stocks, um, even though we're well beyond price, um, or any reasonable price to earnings ratio doesn't seem to matter. There's just a ravenous desire to buy stocks. So watch that down there as we push down and we continue to remain rather complacent here in um, the market when it comes to fear. So let's keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at T2122. Now we had a nice little pullback yesterday in T2122. That's actually was a big help. And that T2122 pullback probably brought in a few sellers. And what I mean by that is um, probably a few put buyers uh, were picked up yesterday. Some short sellers were picked up yesterday. And this gap up this morning could be fueled by some of that short selling. Anyone caught short this morning could get squeezed out. And we have a little tiny short squeeze sets off. Anybody short gets squeezed out of the trade. They're forced to buy back. And that pushes the markets even higher. So let's watch this in here. We have in this pullback yesterday, we have plenty of upside room now for this gap up uh, move and we likely be pushing right back up here into those resistance levels pretty darn quickly so watch that closely let's also keep in mind if those bears happen to come in if the, we do happen to catch a bit of a pop and drop then we still have plenty of downside room in this market as well so we don't really have a directional indicator here in t2122 just shows us that we have with that pullback yesterday we've opened up the uh, a window for more upside potential move in the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar uh, doesn't have a whole lot on here to move us around, but we do have the existing home sales here at 10 p.m. I'd keep an eye on that. Existing home sales is one of those uh, big indicators um, of um, economic health. But because we have such low, such low interest rates, I wouldn't expect this to be a bad number. Um, so let's keep an eye um, on that at 10 p.m. But I kind of doubt it's going to move the market around much at all. As a matter of fact, what's going to probably be much more important for the market is taking a look at those earnings reports. Today's one of our biggest days of earnings reports so far this season. And um, as we um, roll those out, we'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, earnings this morning. Um, ALLY reporting this morning. It looks, uh, doesn't look like they have reported just yet. They will re be reporting sometime uh, this morning. Um, no change in that stock, at least at the moment. Um, we have J&J &J reporting this morning. Johnson & Johnson looks like they've reported and are gapping down this morning on their report. So a little bit of slip um, in that stock. How about ABT? ABT reporting this morning, looking like they've reported well, gapping up, breaking through price resistance levels in the chart, gapping above those levels and moving on higher. So a few of those coming this morning that you'll want to pay attention to. Um, this afternoon, we have Texas Instrument, Instruments. Texas Instruments will be reporting this afternoon and several other stocks will be reporting this afternoon. So you'll want to keep an eye on those afternoon reports um, and watch watching those pretty closely. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, stocks that are looking pretty darn good. And um, I want to, um, before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button um, on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, the purpose of these videos, no hype, none of that stuff. We're looking at the at the key elements of the market and the technicals of the chart, trying to determine how to best approach the market for today. Um, I have absolutely zero desire 
to predict the market. I just want to look at all the different te technicals and avoid all of the emotion and the hype and the drama that happens in these uh, morning opens nowadays and just focus in on how I want to approach the market for today. And if you find that helpful, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button and also click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. You know, those comments help an awful lot, helps to continue to show these videos to more folks. And I appreciate each and every one of you that take the time to do that. It, it actually means the world to me. I do the best job I can to put out some good quality content. And that really helps a lot when you guys take the time to do that. So thank you very, very much. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up and ones that we're going to um, want to just keep an eye on in a watch list. And remember, none of these stocks that I show you here are any kind of a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Um, they are merely something as part of the education, something that you want to take a look at, maybe put on a watch list, evaluate them for yourself. Let's take a look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA is setting itself up for a potential upside move. As you can see here in NVIDIA, nice little consolidating move. Notice no one wants to sell this. We have a very clear area where the support is holding in that chart. We also have a little clear resistance area in the chart. So as this continues, to consolidate over toward trend. We wanna watch that for that opportunity for that to pop out. You can see this morning that with the bullishness that we have in the futures, that we're getting a little bit of a pop up here in Nvidia. So you might wanna keep an eye on that. It's creeping up there and looking pretty strong. Take a look at Eli Lilly. Eli Lilly is, is one of those old boring companies that has been doing extremely well, trending up very nicely. And you can see just after a nice long run up, breaking out, consolidating here just a little bit, moving back toward its trend, we'll want to watch this stock. And you can see I've placed an alert on that chart. These are blue sky highs here in Eli Lilly. So no reason to believe that it can't continue to go on higher. You'll just want to keep an eye on that chart as Lily continues to, continues to consolidate across here. Another chart that's doing very much the same, this stock in IQ has been moving up nicely in this trend. I'm gonna pull this back on a weekly and you can see we do have some resistance highs in this chart um, up in here around 28, but that doesn't shouldn't be uh, too bothersome and you can see we broke through this level, we've held it as support and yesterday a nice little rally back coming into the chart and we're looking at a gap up open this morning looking to open above my alert here so let's watch this um, some bullishness certainly coming in here in this chart so watch that for that potential upside iq looking pretty good here this morning take a look at um OSTK. OSTK, we picked this up yesterday um, in Right Way Options as it was just popping up, looking good and strong here uh, by the close um, yesterday. Now we do have some resistance in this chart to deal with here on OSTK. So maybe the bullishness of the market this morning can help push us on through. We're looking to open up in here. Nice looking chart, following the trend, nice little push up and um gotta gotta admit it looks looks pretty darn good um take a look at angie angie has been holding up in this beautiful upside trend and it's dealing with some price resistance you notice we have this gap right in here that could potentially be filled we ran up we hit that price resistance and now we've pulled back a little bit and we're consolidating along this area in here so let's watch that in here to see if that can break on through move through to that upside um, in the chart looking pretty good um, just keep a close eye on it take a look at z-a-y-o z-a-y-o i've been mentioning for a while i mentioned it yesterday nice little tight consolidating area here pushed on through looking really good and now continuing 
to the upside. Keep an eye on that. I've also been mentioning AMD. AMD, there's that little pink line, that price alert, and there's that pattern again where we move up, consolidate over to trend, and we start moving out. Now, yesterday had just a little teeny tiny pullback, but you can see this morning it's looking to try and move higher. I think any rest or consolidation in here on that chart could offer more upside potential. And by the way, this is a blue sky breakout. AMD is now higher than it was in the 2000 tech bubble burst. So we are up here at new record highs in AMD looking strong. So keep an eye on that chart. You know, right now, guys, there are more charts than you can potentially buy. They're just everywhere um, right now. So it's, it's difficult to weed out those stocks um, and try to find those stocks that um, are the right trade for you. And one of the things I would want to suggest is to make sure that you're buying any of the, any stocks that you buy in this crazy wild bullish market. Make sure you're buying all of your stocks somewhere at or near price support levels. That stock that either consolidates over to support and trend. That's something we wanna watch for. That gives us a relatively low risk entry or those stocks that have moved up and pulled back, something like this. Move up, pull back to support and trend. We wanna be looking for those kind of entries that get us closer to a stop loss. What we want to avoid is we wanna avoid getting caught up in the hype and chasing a stock as it moves up. Let me take a look at Home Depot as an example for that. Home Depot well within its move here. And this is one of those stocks that we see that big move and we wanna chase, we're just like like that dog wanting to chase a car. And it is a very dangerous habit to get into because that actually puts our stop, our potential pullback in this trade is substantial. Um, so when we see a stock like this, we wanna remember that the price action of the chart up, whoops, let me get my drawing tool back here. A price action of the chart, normal price action of a chart moves like this. We might consolidate, moves up, pulls back, moves up. So we don't want to chase a stock that's already well within its move um, because we can jump into that and get that immediate pullback. The, the losses in those can be substantial. And we also want to make sure and pay attention when a stock is pushing up into a price resistance area. So so we see this little bullishness move here. We move up, but we ran right into this price resistance pulling back. So take a look at this in Home Depot. If I were to draw another price resistance line in here, would you guys say that we are right at price resistance in the chart here in Home Depot? Doesn't mean it can't go higher, but we want to recognize those levels when we're buying in a very, very bullish market like this. We want to make sure that we're not chasing, getting caught in here and suffering that substantial pullback that can occur. So think about that as you're planning your trades and you're planning your day forward. With that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. I want to um, say thank you to everyone who subscribes and leaves those comments. Y'all take care. Have a great day and we'll see you all right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Take care now.